Anyway, got that there. On board phase, blah, 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 blah. This is the Latitude D500, the D510, sorry, uh, starting Windows 7 with the GM8900 using the XPDM drivers. So obviously I'm using 32-bit because Pame M's do not support 64-bit at all. I'm sending this to my uh, good friend Sarah up in Connecticut. Passwords admin1 with a capital A because this is a laptop that I'm giving to someone, so I do not want them to be confused when they first start it up and then ask me what's the password, and I'm like, duh, I forget. No. Okay, so the screen flickers here for just a second because of the uh, driver initialization, and boom, we're done. Let me go ahead here, and I think I have Specky installed. Do I have Specky installed? Let's see. Give it a second. It's not the fastest, but it is fast. Okay. Here comes the Specky train. It's loading into RAM. Okay. As if this could go any slower. I'm actually surprised it's running at 60 something degrees Celsius. It's probably the CPU, too. Let me see about turning on IK fan and getting this uh, nice and uh, chilly then. You see, uh, high speed on the fan doesn't really make, uh, does not make uh, this a dull machine at all. In fact, I should probably make it so that that turns on onto low speed setting because it idles at around 40 degrees Celsius when I have the fan on low. So yeah, that must be the CPU temperature then. Okay. Well, it does a decent job anyway. Uh, hard drive's at a very decent temperature for it to be running at. Uh, I can ensure in long life. It's got signal tell C major audio. Most of the drivers that I was using for stuff on here, mainly for graphics and stuff, are from uh, XP. However, I'm going to go straight into here and I'm going to run something else so you can get a good idea of how fast this is for something. Hello. Here we go. Now, you weren't, had you uh, been in middle school back in the early 2000s, you will uh, recognize this game a whole lot. This is something that I played a whole lot in middle school on the actual computers in school. And I kind of blame myself for that because I put them on all of them. This is Pocket Tanks Lux. I use this for, uh, Open jail testing. You can see it's pretty fast. Turn to practice for now. Hmm. Let's give you 62. Go down the thing a bit and we'll give you a color bomb. Let's see what that is. Hmm, nice. Boom. Let's see what she got here. Wall digger, bouncy dirt, minigun, laser, super skipper, cater maker. Let's see, ooh, crew ball. I wonder what that is. Bring this down to 57 and try it. Let's try it again. 
to see what happens. Nice, and in case it's doing dirt. Haha. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got here. Mega Cruiser. Mega Nuke. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Let's see what else you got here. Sinking swim. As you can see, it works. I'm gonna go right ahead and quick quit this because usual stuff. That's pocket tanks. I love it. Uh, I just love it too much. Use it for. I have it on pretty much all my computers, only because it's just something fun and uh, silly to play every so often. And it's some good nostalgia for me because I played it back in middle school with all my friends in various computer uh, computer related classes that I was taking at the time. Go to the computer, used to play pocket tanks while teacher's not looking. <laughs> okay. Uh, other thing I'm going to show, just for the hell of it, is uh, Windows Experience Index rating. Only though it doesn't, even though it doesn't matter, is about a 3.3 for a CPU, 4.4 for memory, uh, both for the graphics 1.9 and 1.0 because it's the uh, XPDM driver, so it's going to be of course. Then 4.3 for the hard disk. I'm guessing the hard disk is probably like a 4200 RPM or early 5400 RPM drive that they wanted to put in here uh, of this, uh, well not early, but I mean low end 5400 RPM that they just put in here just to put in. Uh, regardless, it does work all, uh, okay as well. I'll uh, open up Office, get that going. Let me see how fast Office boots after it configures it for the first time on the admin account that I've created. I cannot confirm nor deny that this copy of Office 2007 is legit. I also cannot confirm or deny that this copy of Windows 7 is legit. Because pirating is bad, kitties. Remember that. Also means I have to set that stupid thing with the window that comes up. I think. I guess not. Okay. Huh, it works. Equals rand eight. This is what equals rand eight gives you. If you eight paragraphs worth of random text, which it uh, just uh, gives you all this stuff, I guess. So that's just a silly thing that I've learned uh, throughout the years. Put that up on Office 2003 and up it goes and it does um, the quick round fox jumps over the lazy dog a whole bunch of times. Alright, so that aside, what else do I got on here? There's a whole bunch of other stuff, I guess. I wonder if I've got iTunes running upstairs. Let's see. And then I can just, uh, it doesn't look like it. Anyway, get some uh, sample music going on in here from Windows 7 itself. Come on. This is actually running uh, iTunes 10.63. I'm not putting 11 on here even though it will run. Only because... Let's get Clipper running. The sound is actually pretty good. So, shift two, let's change the equalizer up. Helps just a little bit. This is the uh, sample music that comes with Windows 7 itself. So, hopefully, 
the uh, music police aren't going to be uh, knocking on my door for that, but there you go. It works. Headphones, plug it in. These still, they don't uh, not work, whatever, however you want to put it. They work, and then when you plug headphones in, they mute, and it goes through the headphones. Everything about the sound system completely works. Um, so, I think that's about it for this. I'm going to cut this short now, and I'm going to leave it, because I now am down to 85% there, if you can see. And I'm just going to leave it at that. CPU is now at 33 degrees Celsius, which is good. It's running, of course, on battery so it's there all right so that said i'm gonna leave that going and i'm gonna get this ready and set up the ship uh hopefully i'm gonna get whatever money that uh i've been promised for this and then whatever else for shipping uh probably gonna do this in a way that i get the money the the actual money for the laptop first and then i'm going to take out whatever was from shipping and then uh just uh show the receipt uh, to her and get this out to her and once she's receipt she'll just PayPal me that much uh, for the receipt as well so because I am uh, selling it to her for uh, the amount of money that I am selling it to her for and shipping so and this isn't going to be that uh, that bad to ship it's only going to be about less than 20 bucks I can definitely say that all right so that said this is the video um, other things that have happened been happening down here is the workbench is getting cleaned up some. Um, you can see I've got a couple other computers over here. I've got this iMac, G4, and uh, stuff. Uh, this is a G4 1.25 gigahertz uh, with an FX5200 Ultra in it, 64 megs, and it's running 10.4 Tiger, carbon copy clone from the Power Mac, uh, not the Power Mac, PowerBook G4 upstairs. And then I've also got a Power Mac G3 down here. You see the uh, CDRW drive that I dropped in here, and also it's got an 80 gig drive in it, which I partitioned into two drives, one for data and one for the boot. And it runs really nice. It's got a Rage 128 Pro 16 meg card in it, and I was very surprised when I plugged that in, and I plugged in my 19-inch uh, 1440 by 900 panel, and it actually... Uh, grabbed the information from it from EDID and it went to 1440 by 900 during boot. Millions of colors. So it's pretty nice. Uh, it's also got a USB card in there and it's got one blank slot. I'm probably gonna see if I can put a, putting a double USB Firewire card in there, see what happens. And it's also got a zip slot here. Uh, zip disk, the disk, uh, zip disk drive actually does work. I was just using it to uh, back up from uh, a cup, uh, uh, an array of zip disks that I got from somebody. Most of them hadn't been accessed since like uh, 1999, 1998. So I got what I could off of them, and now those are back in the box. So I got about uh, a good hundred, hundred thousand or so uh, fonts for this Mac now. I'm going to be uh, loading those in later on. See my cheapo Microsoft mobile mouse, mouse, uh, whatever you call it there. Uh, blue track, love that thing, even though it's kind of girly looking. Hey, screw it, it's my Rose mouse, I don't give a shit. Uh, I've got a keyboard over there and some other stuff I've got to get cleaned. We'll uh, figure that out later. Now I've got some other crap over here. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Hope you liked it. Uh, and Sarah, here's the laptop, I guess.